It's Monday morning and I'm just about to go and pick up the van ready to go and collect the store that I've bought. And um, I just wanted to show you the current state of the room because I've not managed to get quite as much done as I'd hoped. You, you always, you know, overestimate how much you're going to get done, I think. Um, but I've managed to clear uh, pretty much this wall right along here. Uh, what we've got here are just some piles of stuff that need to go uh, to the container. Uh, so this wall is going to get filled with um, some of the Rayco, the rainbow coloured Rayco drawers, which are a little bit like this, but are, are much more colourful. Um, not done anything with this yet. And in fact, I've held off ordering the Rayco units for a few days only because of, you know, coming to the end of the month and needing to pay myself and, and things like that. So they're probably going to wait till the end of the week before I order them. And I'm going to have enough to do anyway without worrying about getting those mounted onto the wall. And of course, what we forget is I had to get my orders done early. So I had to do my orders uh, yesterday now there weren't a lot of orders this weekend as it happens which is kind of a a blessing but at the same time makes you wonder why you're spending a fortune on another store when the orders are not that that great uh, down this end of the room um, I've cleared away all of the sets that were in the bottom of here and I know you can't see it very well because of the pile that's in front um, but all of those have gone into the room upstairs and that is at least looking pretty reasonable upstairs. And that's where the couple of Ikea Kallax units went that uh, were along this wall. And I've managed to get the majority of the bulk bins uh, that I use, those black boxes along the bottom of this uh, set of shelving and also along the top there. Now, I've still got to get the CDs out of here as well. They still need to be boxed up and go off to the container. And all of this unit here is going to be um, rejigged and lots of mess on the table still. But a big day ahead, very tiring day, I'm sure. And uh, we'll uh, monitor some of that progress as we go. So I'm just picking the van up and this is what we're going to be driving to pick up the store. Um, I'm quite pleased with the size actually because I was a little bit nervous that it wasn't going to be big enough. I did want a Luton van and I couldn't get one. Um, so, but, uh, this was the best I could get which is a Mercedes Sprinter. I think that looks like a decent size. So quite pleased with that and uh, let's go and get on the road and get it filled up. So here we are at uh, Brick Pickers UK uh, headquarters and uh, this is what we've got to pick up today. So you can see this is quite a mammoth amount of Lego to go. And this is only part of it because um, the used bulk is in another location that I need to go and pick up. And then over here, we've got more. There's tubs everywhere, you can see how far this, this goes back. It's really just a colossal amount of Lego. So yeah, absolutely huge. So we've got the van ready. We're gonna get this loaded up and then on to pick up the used bulk. So we're part way through the loading of the van. Um, you can see that the van, I mean, these are the doors and you can see how full it is. Um, this is just the first location. So you can see that we've pretty much cleared out uh, the garage space now. Got it all loaded into the van. Um, they've just gone up into the loft because there's more in the loft, uh, believe it or not. And then we've got to go to another premises and fill uh, the van up with the remainder, which is, I believe, 36 boxes of bulk uh, used bulk lego so there's way more here than even i imagined i think at the start and it's a bloody good job that i've hired an enormous container to offload this uh into so that i can sort through and uh start organizing and getting it into my store um bit by bit but this is a huge task 
and is going to take a long, long time to get through and to integrate into the store. So we're now at the second location uh, to fill the van and uh, we've now got to fit all of this lot into the van. And this is 350 kilos. It's all being weighed into individual tubs. 350 kilos of used bulk, uh, which is going to take some sorting. And there's still minifigs in there, although I was told that all the minifigs have been taken out. There's still traces of uh, some bits and pieces in there. And then we've got more drawers and things and trays here. All this to come out and uh, hopefully fit it in the van. So we're all done at the second location and we couldn't have cut it any finer if we tried. This is absolutely full to the brim of Lego containers, all sorts of stuff in here. And to give you some idea of the size of the van, it's no small van. Um, I'm slightly nervous about the weight, if I'm honest. Um, it does look like it's down a bit at the back, which is kind of to be expected, but I'm gonna have to take it very slowly heading home and we've got a two and a half hour journey. So it's gonna take a while, but wow, this is gonna take some sorting out. This is just huge. I, I'm, I can't actually believe it all, even myself, to be honest, having seen photos of it in the past and uh, knowing what I was coming for, it really does surpass all expectations. So now we're gonna set off, we're gonna grab something to eat on the way back and then we've gotta get it offloaded at the other end, which is gonna be something of a task as well. And thank God I got such a big container. Phase one of filling the containers done, and uh, this is what we've got to show for it. All of these cabinets stacked up down the left hand side here with parts in all the way down. And at the back here, we've got 36 plus tubs of Lego, most of them uh, 10 15 kilos of Lego each. Then down here we've got more storage, trays, lots of minifigures in those drawers there. And then lots more boxes of all sorts of things, lots of sets here. Uh, we've got a printer, label printer. We've got all the packing materials. We've got a set of scales. We have got tons and tons of stuff. But that's only part of it because we've also got this lot. And I'll just go around to the other side to give you a bit more of an idea. And we've got all of these drawers, which I'm leaving in the van because they're going to be heading back to the house. And I'm going to try and fit as many of these as I can into my room. Some of them might have to come back to the container later today if I can't fit them in the room and um, it's going to be lots of fun sorting through all of this lot um, might be done by the weekend just kidding <laughs> I think this is going to be months or years of work and um, I'm not going to be short of Lego or things to do for quite some time it's Tuesday the 23rd and it's the morning after the day of the move and 
this is what we're left with in the room here in the store um it's gonna look pretty cramped initially because um what i've done is we've brought back all of these colored uh drawers and these are all as you can see going to be going along this wall they're a little too high at the moment so they need to be adjusted and thankfully these type of drawers can be set to any size that you like so we're going to be reducing the size of these today, getting them below this rack of cabinets and getting them pushed up against the wall. Um, we're also probably going to be swapping out the four clear ones back there and putting these coloured ones in their place. And we're also going to try and squeeze some under the desk and possibly even along the back wall under the window there as well. So lots uh, to do today. Um, that's going to be the main focus. And then we're probably going to focus on getting the content of these drawers uploaded into the store. Um, then the next step will be to get the CDs out of there and get the storage that's going into these shelves sorted. Uh, so that's, you know probably going to be in the next couple of days but anyway in the meantime we still need to keep the store running it would actually be really nice in some ways to just shut things down and concentrate for a while but we can't do that and i mean we've not got too many orders anyway we've got just uh four orders there on bricklink and we've got uh three on Brickal. nothing on ebay so they won't take long thankfully and we'll get those picked get them packed and then we'll crack on with uh, more reorganizing well orders are done for the day and uh need to get on with some more organization you'll forgive me if i didn't show you uh what uh, those orders were made up of still got way way too much stuff all over the floor in here which i found really um a pain when i was picking those orders to be honest uh when i needed to get to these overflow boxes which i haven't had a chance to label yet and i had to get to a couple of them so i had to go through them to figure out what what was in which box so picking didn't go very smoothly if i'm honest today um it's gonna get a lot better hopefully um gotta go back to the unit take some of this stuff uh out of the way get just get it cleared off the floor and i need to bring back some more of these colored drawers i'm gonna need about another uh six stacks something like that and then that should fill this space and i'm probably going to try some at the end of the room as well so lots to do um really feeling it actually today after the move yesterday really tiring day and um i just need to plow on and uh, try and get some of this organized a bit better so i'm just checking in with a little bit of an update um just still in organizing phase at the moment and uh, you'll see that i've color coordinated all of the drawers which i think looks so much uh nicer the numbers aren't going to matter to me too much because i'm I'm going to be renumbering obviously I need to leave the existing numbers on so that I can match up with the brick store file that I'm going to be getting but they look so much better now um, I've moved uh, my old existing drawers the the plastic ones that I had here uh, up to the back end of the room um, just really temporarily because I still need access to the things in these drawers um you know while i'm i'm sort of selling and merging etc and then i'm in the middle of um getting all of the cds packed away into boxes and i've already got one two three four five just onto the sixth box of cds and still got lots and lots to go and i'm feeling a little more uncomfortable about where i put the cds now i had thought about taking them off to the container and i may still do that but i've got room 
under the desk still behind these drawers and I'm just wondering if there's enough room behind there to stack all of the boxes of CDs because I'm not going to be accessing anything behind there very much at all so uh, I may give that a go and it'll mean a trip less uh, to the container as well so uh, we'll see how that goes I'm going to be going to the container again this afternoon once uh, uh, I've got a few uh, things happening at home once I've got uh, those out of the way, I'll load up the car and go to the container again. Second batch of labels just printed out uh, for today. Just a couple of extra orders that we got in over lunch, uh, both international. And you have to forgive me this week for not showing the orders. I'm a little bit, as you can imagine, uh, preoccupied and a little bit all over the place. Um, so... Um, I had to get a little bit creative with uh, this packaging because they wanted a couple of uh, base plates and this was going off to Italy. Normally I'd put base plates into a box, um, but the trouble is with sending international is the box really adds weight. So I just put a stiffener in uh, with the plates and used two of these large uh, F3 uh, bubble wraps and um, put them together basically side by side just to make a nice cushioned package and um, good to get creative once in a while and save yourself a little bit on the postage. Another last minute order just snuck in this one's going off to France so that makes quite a few international orders today um, at least uh, four internationals from this lot um, two to France one to Switzerland one to Italy um so keeping us busy and um oddly enough today uh brick owl is definitely winning out in terms of orders i think there's two or three on brick link and all of the rest on on brick owl so uh good to see brick owl um looking good again and uh, i mentioned a few weeks ago about active carts and i think a lot of us agree that the active carts don't necessarily turn into orders but I'm, I'm sat on about 35 at the moment so hoping that some of those do uh, turn into orders as well. I'm just dropping some more stuff off at the container uh, bringing some more bits and pieces over from home and uh, the main purpose was to come and collect all of these uh, blue storage units so I'm going to be loading them up to the car in a second. Also uh, dug out couple of stacks of mini figs and poly bags which will be quick to get listed so I'm going to take them back as well and uh, see what other bits and bobs I can find I'm gonna to have to make another trip because uh, probably not today but I still need uh, three sets of these drawers uh, I've got four stacks here so I've got far more than I can fit in at home um, but I can get at least another three stacks. And then when I've cleared my own other uh, clear storage units like these, I've still got four towers back there. I might be able to squeeze some of these back home then. Uh, but until then, that's going to be about it. Um, I'm really trying to get on top of the organising because I really need to start and get listing. And um, I'm going to uh, hopefully get started on that tonight or tomorrow um, but I just uh, it's, it's it's knowing where to start first you know there's just so so much and all of this wall along here is uh, gonna have to be left for quite some time um, the main thing I'll be doing is working through the colored drawers which are all uh, back at my place now and uh, we'll see where we are when I know what storage I've got in place. I just had a good sale via a local pickup. Um, you might remember that I showed a Porsche, uh, the Porsche 911 GT3. That's the orange uh, Porsche for those who are less familiar. And um, I had listed it for £500, well, four nine nine. 0.99 and um, I managed to sell it yesterday on eBay with a local collection and uh, you might remember it was a pretty battered box and uh, I was a bit skeptical as to whether I'd get the money or not um, but 
uh, I did have a buyer who was interested and in fact he was super interested uh, and I actually ended up losing out a little bit of money um, well quite a bit of money actually because he'd contacted me within hours of the uh, auction ending and uh, had offered me £600 for it and asked me to end the auction but eBay's policies are that you shouldn't really be ending at auctions etc and um, I didn't really w want to, to mess about and you know there was this whole hoo-ha about um, you know would I get the money before the auction would I get a deposit etc and in the end we just left it and the guy uh, won the auction for the opening bid of 499 99 which is fine i mean it's um it it was a little bit of a loss uh for me but remember i paid 80 pound for that uh set so um turning 80 pound into 500 is pretty good in my book now the reason i'm showing you this screen with all of these images is because um he was also interested in picking up a bunch of figures and things that i had on my store as well so I did manage to sell him all of these on top of the Porsche um, without any fees. Um, basically, all we did was knock the, the postage off. Um, these were, um, the, in sales value was £112. Uh, we rounded it down to 100 and um, I, I thought that was a, a good deal. So I managed to move all those figures and uh, the Porsche. And um, that's why I'm, I'm going through uh, Bricklink actually, and I've just removed them from the eBay listings themselves, but I'm just checking that I don't have them in my Bricklink inventory as well. And I'm just uh, removing them from there as well. So that was a great sale, really happy with it. And um, we move on to the next one. So I'm just in the middle of uh, filling in this cabinet with these blue containers that I got from Brick Pickers UK. Um, there were 500 of these, so I think that they're going to fill these two uh, units pretty well, if not into that smaller unit there as well. And they're really good because they just sort of uh, clip together, not very easy to do with one hand, but they just sort of slot together. I'm making a hash of this, as, of course, as you expect on a video, but they just clip together, stack on top of each other and they sit pretty pretty rigidly and if you look at the drawers they're a nice wide drawer and they've got dividers uh to go in there there is a bag of dividers somewhere uh I've not come across them just yet but i know that there's tons of dividers to go with them and one of the things that i really like about these is the clear plastic because you can really easily see what's inside them so i think these are quite a nice uh, little addition and um, you know, sit back on the shelf and give you a bit of space there as well. Not that uh, I intend putting too much in front of them, but I think they're quite quite nice and fill the unit quite well. These black um, uh, units are going to be coming out and going underneath somewhere. So it's just a question of, you know, continuously moving from A to B just to get the right sort of setup. The morning's orders are picked, uh, been picked a little while actually, but they've been sat here in what's probably going to be my new space for batching the orders. Because the, these drawers have ended up where they actually have quite a wide uh, space. So it'll allow me to put lots of orders along here as I pick them and just ready to wait and pack them on the other side of the desk which is still looking an absolute mess um, but we'll be weighing and packing them over here and uh, we'll be ready to get them shipped off then um, the room is coming along although it still looks a bit of a mess it's actually not that far away now um, we've got all of the drawers lined up here and color coordinated and uh, we still need to get uh, another couple of rows back here. So this area is still a bit of a mess. This is uh, a bit of a haul from uh, the Lego store, which I'd already purchased prior 
to uh, buying a Brick Pickers UK store. So I was kind of committed to them and I've no idea when I'm going to get time to park them out now. Um, but uh, they won't come in wrong, uh, no doubt. So we'll, I'll show you what's in there a little uh, later today. We've got another box over there of things that I bought before um, buying the store as well. So there are more things that need to, to be listed. Um, over here is coming along uh, much better now. I've uh, readjusted the shelving, um, got uh, these racks of these blue uh, containers that I mentioned. Uh, they look pretty uh, good. Got this uh, smaller cabinet there for uh, these storage units, which have a lot of my sort of used uh, minifig parts in. And um, I think I said yesterday that these drawers here, uh, my uh, older uh, style drawers, which have still got my stock in, so they need to stay here for a little while, and then they'll be replaced by these rainbow drawers as well. Um, so, still uh, lots to do. Going to get these orders packed up first, and then my next, um, hopefully, quick job uh, before I actually start listing stuff is just to get all these little bits um, put away somewhere, even if it's just in a box. Uh, sort out these things on here. I do have a little bit of a problem as to where to put my um, mesh network extender and my Alexa. And to be honest, the Alexa is massively overkill for me because I only use it to turn my lights on and off. And it's massive. Um, so I could really do with a puck style one or, or something like that. So I, I might even look at changing that. And I've actually got two of them, which is a pain. So I'll have to get them listed or something. So anyway, still lots and lots to do. Uh, been a busy little week, and but uh, things are really starting to come together. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's in this uh, box that I bought. Uh, and as I said, I bought this just before the store had, uh, uh, and, you know, the whole store purchase happened. So in here, I can't even remember how many there are. There are about 85, 90 foil bags. Um, not all Tuscan Raiders, although the majority of them are. So in here we've got uh, Tuscan Raiders. Uh, we've, got, we've got some uh, Robins. We've got some Minecraft. We've got some... Ooh, Ninjago. They're better than I expected, actually. I thought I was only getting a Zane figure. I didn't realise it came with an Android as well. So that's a plus. Uh, Minecraft. And there is something else in here as well, I think. And that was one of those. There were four types. Minecraft, Zane, Rock. No, that's it. Four. There was meant to be some Minecraft skeletons and... Um, they ended up not having them, so I just told them to bulk up on the um, on the Tuscan Raiders and the Robins. So, yeah, uh, got to get these listed as well. Um, lots and lots and lots to do. Um, so, uh, get these done and on to the next thing. Just a quick reminder that there's Royal Mail strike action about to take place over the coming week and also we've got public holidays coming up in the UK. So uh, during the strike action there'll be no collections, no deliveries, you won't be able to drop your mail at uh, a Royal Mail depot. Post offices I believe will be open but the, the mail that that the post office receive will not be collected by Royal Mail on these days. So it will just sit there anyway for an extra day. So those days to take note of are Friday the 26th, Wednesday the 31st, Thursday the 8th of September and Friday the 9th of September. And don't forget that Monday the 29th is also a public holiday. So they'll also uh, be closed that day and there'll be no deliveries or collections. It's important to keep in mind as well that um, because um, Royal Mail won't be working those days, it's going to cause a backlog. So um, it may well mean that it will take an extra day or two to clear each day's 
closure. You know, everything is just going to stack up. Things will get out of order. It's uh, it's going to be a, a bit of a mess and something of a throwback to kind of COVID days when uh, they were short on staff, etc. So I'm going to be expecting lots of people asking, where's my parcel? Uh, and we're going to have to explain this to people. But putting notices on your terms uh, pages or your splash pages is going to help. Okay, pretty much last job before I start listing is to try and condense these boxes. So I just thought I'd show you what's in them. It's exactly the same order uh, five times over and I did it that way to maximize the gift with purchase all from the Lego store. Uh, so we'll just open one and we'll show you what's in there. If I get the box lid off, that is. So, they are just the, the Fab Five lock set. So there's five of these. Uh, five was the maximum you could get. And these were about, I want to say they were about £53. And uh, the part out was over three times that. And the beauty was you got this sort of poly bag. Um, which is a VIP uh, part pack, um, which I thought was really useful. And the part out value of this was pretty decent, uh, to be honest. There's all sorts in there. Skeletons, um, a shark, a cannon, which, you know, they all sell really well. And especially the red uh, cannon uh, holder there. Um, so five bags of this. Five lots of the Fab Five Loft. No idea when I'm ever going to get round to parting these out. Now, far too much to do before I get to these, uh, but uh, good to have anyway. So I'm finally getting around to the point where I'm about to start uh, listing stuff to the store. There's still a few bits and pieces to tidy up, uh, but I need to get cracking and get some things listed and get some things added to the store. So I just thought I'd uh, just do a quick check-in before I start uploading to see what we've got in the store as of now, because um, I've not been adding anything for at least the last week or so. And we sat at 308,865 items with 10,889 lots. And uh, I'm just going to monitor that and see how we manage to grow that over the next weeks and months. So I'm sure lots of you are going to be wondering how I'm going to be um, uploading uh, things. And I'm just going to start draw by draw. So each draw has got a number on and they're all out of sequence now, but it doesn't matter because we know what the draw number is. And I'm just going to take a draw at a time, see what's in there get this listed and then move on to the next draw and as I go I'll be renumbering the draws with a new number um, of my own choosing and uh, we'll start here with uh, draw number one and we'll work down um, down each column and row um, now I think I'm going to end up just numbering these with a a ZD01 and the reason I'm thinking of a Z is just to push it to the end of the picking sequence so I'll end up picking all of the the small draws first come round back up here and then uh, come back to the draws um, it's too difficult to try and pick the draw as I'm picking the upper uh, item because the numbers just won't run in sequence on the pick list. So I think that's the best way to do it. it doesn't matter about walking around the room twice in, in a way. I can always do with the exercise and it's such a small space anyway that it's really not an issue. Uh, so I think that's how I'm gonna progress. So this is the first draw that I've tackled in merging uh, the Brick Pickers UK stock with mine and um, this was just the first draw in the run and when I started to go through with them um, I noticed that um, some of the plates were in this draw and some of the plates 
were in uh, draw D80. That's according to um, the brick store file that I was provided with. And what I've been able to do is go through this draw, checking against my own stock, and I've been able to migrate my stock into this. Uh, there, are, there is some overflow, which you can probably just see on the side over there. So there is some overflow, uh, but that's fine. Um, but it has totally emptied this draw. And this is what I mean, or, or what my theory is in terms of merging the stock. Everybody's saying to me, well, where are you going to put it all? And, and that's a valid point. There's a lot of lots that I don't have. But there's also a lot of lots that I already do. And uh, a lot of the space that's used, I think, can be condensed. Um, so that's my theory, at least. It obviously won't work with all parts. These were fairly uh, common parts. Um, but I've got a nice full draw now of 1x4 plates in all sorts of colours. And uh, that's the first draw complete. So just coming back on the uh, previous uh, little bit I recorded about uh, completing the first draw, this is the DSX file that I've created for that draw, um, having, um, you know, uh, merged the draw with mine. Now, these quantities are the Brick Pickers UK quantities only, not, not my stock, obviously. And uh, just these are amounting to 2,668 parts for a value of... 397 pound that, that's the first draw <laughs> um now that's not strictly true because there are some uh foil bags in here as well um which aren't great on quantity um but will be adding considerably to the value um and those need to be in fact i'm saying the value just let me check because I haven't, I've just realised, I haven't actually updated the value on the parts that I've added. So let me just do that now. Let's, let's just set them to the six months average. I, I know that I'll be adjusting that later. So that's changed it. So the value's actually gone up to 403, almost 404 pounds now. Um, these will need adjusting, of course, um, but not a bad little start. Friday the 26th of August and I'm just finishing up uh, from last night. I spent an hour or so last night just uh, pulling out some figures and listing them um, from the Brick Pickers UK inventory. You have to excuse my breakfast bowl there. And um, yeah, just getting these listed onto the store. Uh, but at the same time, this which is making it sort of um, twice as as time consuming is i'm also adding uh, some of them to ebay as well so lots to work through there they came out of this uh, spare tub lots more in here in terms of lots of uh, video figures and friends stuff um i think these are minecraft i need to figure out what exactly those are um Oddly, there's lots and lots of these masks uh, in there and lots of Chima foil bags, both of which are probably not worth an awful lot. But then we're going to be concentrating on getting more of these drawers uh, done and dusted. Let's uh, look at the next one. So lots of one by plates there, lots of one by two bricks etc so we're going to work uh through these draw at a time not sure how much we're going to get done and i'm going to do that for probably this morning um, um at least before i start working on orders because there's no royal mail uh, collection service today or no deliveries nothing uh, so i can't drop off at the depot so I'm in no rush to get my orders done. I'll probably do them this afternoon or even this evening. Only uh, five on Bricklink so far and two on Brick Owl, but there might be a few more trickle in throughout the day. So we'll see how those go and uh, get picking those later today. 
So I've started picking orders. I uh, still got one to go and um, I'm gonna just get these packed up and ready to go to the post office tomorrow. So I don't normally do a Saturday morning drop, but in this case I will because we've got the uh, bank holiday coming up as well. I'll just do a quick flyby of what we've got. Uh, a few dimension sets going out and they're going off to the US, I believe. And then I've just had uh, somebody inquire about these and uh, we've done a little bit of a deal and they're picking up six of these. And uh, nice that that's a local collection, which is good because these have to go medium parcel and uh, they, they don't typically move very well because of that and the postage gets expensive. So good to see most of those going. I think I've only got one of those left now. Uh, so that, that's a, a good little bit of business uh, and clears a little bit of room uh, for me as well because they're awkward to store. So I've got my first small uh, brick store file ready for upload, 12 and a half thousand parts, thousand pounds worth of items in here, um, 145 lots in there as well. Now, it's a real mix. Uh, not all of it, the first three or four items didn't come from the store purchase. They came uh, from another purchase I'd made on some of these foil bags. Um, so those are included in that, in this. Um, but there's other things in here like uh, white base plates, some of the foil packs, poly bags. And then we get on to the uh start of the parts with um some uh, one by four plates uh there are some uh new minifigures i came across uh then we've got some of these round round plates and other bits and bobs in here as well and then on to all of these flowers etc um so i'm just about to upload uh, those uh, so in fact let's do that now so let's just push these through I'm not going to look too much at all of this because I've checked it all over Upload file, send out notifications, which is something you should always do when you've uploaded. And then I just want to see, that's given me 73 new lots um, in the store on top of um, merging my um, existing lots with ones that, you know, also match the uh, brick pickers uk stock now let's just take a look at what that um really looks like in terms of the drawers that have been sorted out so we've got a drawer here of one by four plates we've got a drawer here of round plates we've got a drawer of some bulky uh, parts and we've got a drawer of more um triangular and uh these uh semicircular plates there more round plates i've not actually done that draw yet <laughs> i skipped that one and uh we've got this draw here with the flowers so still two more draws to do in this stack which was this one and the one at the bottom which both need to be sorted still and my plan is I'm just going through each um, draw each as in each column as I go and uh, just work that way. Everything in these drawers should be new. Uh, same with the drawers under the desk here. We've got the drawers, drawers right round. And these drawers over here. I need to go and get four more drawers from the container um, to uh, fill those. And um, I've still got extra drawers at the container as well that, that should fill the back end of the room over there in place of those clear drawers there. So somebody did ask me um, yesterday, 
I got a call from uh, Ashton, uh, someone who follows my channel, who showed great interest in what's in my drawers or how I organize my drawers. And um, I tried to explain that in my, in my method or what I've done so far, you don't need to know what's in the drawer beyond what number the part that you're looking for is in. So that's what's important. It doesn't matter, or you shouldn't try, typically, I'm kind of breaking the rule with these new drawers, but um, you shouldn't try, typically, to organize the drawers by type. So in here, for instance, looks like I've got two different parts. I've got these um, olive uh, bricks, um, and I've got a door in there. But next to that, if I can even get in the drawer, Next to that, we've got these gray containers. And then next to that, we've got some of these black, whatever they are, they're like a, I don't know, a Technic uh, brick of some sort. So, you know, every draw is gonna be different. Some of them will have um, plates. You know, they're all completely different. No real rhyme or reason to what's in them. All you need to know is what is the number of the drawer that I need to go to to pick the part from. Now, I'm breaking the rule a little bit over here uh, just because of the size and number of compartments in these drawers makes it so much easier to group like-minded parts together. And... This is just how Brick Pickers UK did there. So it's kind of not forcing me to go this route with the drawers, but helping me to go this this route. And we'll see how that goes. I, I mean, there's still only 15 compartments and there's often more than 15 colors in a popular brick. So you'd maybe have to use two, two drawers or even mix some colors in a compartment where you've only got a few of them. And these are drawers, for instance, that I haven't got to counting and sorting yet. So you can see that this is what they were doing uh, with the various colours in a drawer. Same here. Sometimes using multiple um, sections. Now I've decided I don't want to use more than a single section for a brick or a part, which means... Uh, anything that I have beyond uh, what fits in a single container will go into uh, an overflow bin. So all my bins are typically over here in the black boxes. And these may need to grow. Uh, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do when they need to get bigger. Um, but these are all parts that are ready to go into the bulk bins. Uh, so these are leftover parts from the drawers that I've organized already. So you can see that, you know, some of them, these for instance, there's just so many of the same uh, part, um, which is gonna last me for a long time. I think they're not, not gonna run out in a hurry. Um, of course, some of the popular parts will, but um, still gonna take some time. Now it took me, well, a, a reasonable three, four hours to do that draw there because it, it, there were so many different parts in there. Having to um, combine them with my own lots, add new lots. Um, it, it took a few hours just to get started. Now, hopefully that's going to get quicker as I go. But you can imagine how long it's going to take with all of these drawers uh, still to go. Um Add into the mix, some of that was doing these uh, minifigures, um, not these specific ones, but for figures that came out of this drawer. Um, so that would have slowed me down a little bit as well. So anyway, that's the uh, progress so far. Um, it's Saturday morning, so I need to get to the post office today after yesterday's strike. I've got some post here to go. I've got a few more orders that have come in overnight that I'm gonna pick now, and then uh, we'll be getting off to the post office.
We've got another coffee contributor that I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to. So Michelle, thank you very much for buying me a coffee. Um, she says, always love your vlogs and your store. Can't wait to see more about the whole Bricklink store you recently purchased. Amazing, love your journey. Thanks, Michelle. Um, as always, uh, really very much appreciated. Thanks very much and uh, I hope you enjoy the vlogs.